go. Two hits on each. It's a heavy one today, guys. What's going on there, everybody? Kai here with The Path of Life. I just acquired something super cool. This is from SI Targets, AKA Superior Ideas, and I can't wait to open this for you guys. It weighs a stinking ton. Oh yeah. Golly. Oh yeah. That's some heavy stuff. Holy crap. All right, so you guys might be asking me, what is all these hunks of steel hanging out right now on your table? Well, allow me to enlighten. SI Targets is a manufacturer of AR500 steel targets. Um, they've been around for quite a while now and uh, they have had a main focus of steel targets and steel target accessories. So these are 10 inch AR500 3 8 inch thick steel gongs. You might be asking what are these pieces for? Well, super super cool. They have made a steel gong set for a plate rack that all you need, aside from these pieces of steel themselves, is a few pieces of EMT conduit and a 2x4. And these brackets, as well as these pieces, and then the EMT conduit slides onto these support pieces here, supporting the entire 2x4 about four feet off the ground. and this notch here slots into this hook and the, the steel plate hangs free hanging off of the 2x4. And then you have a plate rack. It's extremely portable, aside from the fact that these plates weigh a ton. So, this is an extremely cool little modular kit here. I can set these plates up on individual racks, kind of out and about, spread throughout the range area. I can set it up as a six plate rack unit with 10 inch gongs on it. Um, I can place that at any distance and give myself varying degrees of difficulty. For the purposes of this video, I want to give you guys my impressions on this kit the way that it's designed, which is to have the two by four set up with all six targets spread along it like your traditional competition plate rack. I'll be shooting these plates with the Canik TP9 SFX and for the Murica rifle, I just got a CMMG 22 long rifle conversion bolt for my AR-15 to convert the 5.56 down to a 22 long rifle so that I will be able to fire my AR at these plates. So these plates are only, they're rated for handgun calibers and 22 long rifle. So I don't want to just take them out day one and shoot them with a 5.56, but I guarantee you that I will in the future. So one thing to note is that all of these pieces, the brackets and the steel plates themselves are all AR500 steel. 
So if you're off on your target or anything like that and you were to hit one of these brackets, in theory, shouldn't do anything to it to uh, damage any of these pieces at all. The only pieces that would be getting damaged at all would be if you were to hit the EMT conduit, I suppose that, that it could buckle and the 2x4 itself will wear down as you shoot it. If, you, if you're missing the plates and hitting the 2x4, then eventually it'll splinter up. Let's get over to the store and purchase the items that we need to make this a complete kit so that we can take this out to the desert, set it all up, and test it all out. Alright, there we go. Picked up our four pieces EMT conduit and our 2x4, 8 foot 2x4. Cost me a whole $16. So in addition to the price of the uh, of the kit itself from SI Targets, is 14 bucks. Not too shabby. Okay, so we got the plate rack here all set up, all six plates hanging relatively equal distances. Uh, one of the big things to remember when shooting steel is to make sure 100% that you are wearing all of your safety gear. Uh, when you shoot steel, it obliterates the bullet. The idea is that, that the plate is free swinging and that most of that lead shoots into the ground uh, and surrounding the target so you need to make sure that there's nothing immediately uh, you know perpendicular to your target you also want to make sure that you're wearing your eye protection just in case you never know so we're just gonna be uh, that much extra careful this time here at the desert making sure that we're wearing all of our protective gear all right all geared up loaded up now like I said along with the TP9 SFX I will also be shooting this with the AR-15 with the CMMG conversion kit installed. Now, I just want to make sure that this conversion kit works. This will be the first time that I've fired this conversion kit. It's brand new. Just installed it in the gun. All right, she functions. Now time to try out this steel, make sure it works. Okay, here we go. Trying them out first off with the TP9 SFX. Get my red dot turned on. And we'll just try this thing out. Uh, we'll just shoot them left to right, nice and slow and easy, and we'll see what happens. Okay. They work. All right, now let's see how she handles twenty two long rifle, huh? <clears throat> Ah, I keep missing that last one. Whew. All right, let me take you guys up here. Look at the damage after the first couple rounds here. So, absolutely no pitting, you know, just uh, just the marks. No pitting at all. They're holding up great. They sound awesome. 
Jen's turn to try them out now. Yeah, still up in the upper third. There you go. Upper third? Yeah. Yeah, it's so much better than target shooting because I can tell if I'm hitting it. Yeah, immediately. Like, I'm going to get so much better because, I mean, that's a kill shot. Yep. Guys, sorry. I just realized that I totally fumbled on uh, practicing what I preached. I didn't put my eye protection on for any of those shots. So, I'm going to do better. I am human. I make mistakes. And sometimes, I'm just a plain idiot. glasses this time. Okay, 22 long rifle CMMG conversion kit. Even them up a little bit, even them up. All right, here we go. That's a two, three, eight. Come on, come on, come on. One miss. One miss, and it was a one, two, nine, though. One, two, nine. Out. Clear. Whoo! This plate rack is awesome. One of the hardest things that I have as a competition shooter uh, is practicing plate racks and steel targets and small steel targets especially so one of the things we're going to do now is we're going to back up a little bit uh, basically simulate that these targets are smaller and uh, a little bit of a further range so we should have to focus a little bit more and really really focus on our breathing and our trigger pull smooth trigger pull straight to the rear so that we can hit these things uh, but we're going to back up to about uh, I don't know 30 35 yards or so and uh, go for it again. You want to try and shoot from here? Kind of. Yeah, go for it. Kind of discouraged. It's a long way. Hello? Yeah. Hey. This is when they all blur together for me. Okay, so we were at about 10 yards with these 10 inch plates. So now we're at 35 yards. And so this should either simulate them being smaller plates at a closer distance or just shooting a longer distance 10 inch target. So hopefully we get some, uh, we get some good hits and we'll see how, what we can do. This is just basically to push, the, push our limits uh, this has really nothing to do with the targets themselves. Come on. Nailed it. Nailed it. Oh, That's hard to hit. From this distance, they are very small targets. That was feeling good. That Whoa. was feeling good. Super on it that last round.
Rock of the Canic. One, three, five, six, four, two. It's weird because with the balance of this gun, I feel like I should be up more. Uh -huh. It's actually lower. Yeah. How's it feel? Big. Big. And the grip's big. Yeah, I feel like like I'm gripping hard just to hold. Yeah. But overall, smooth. I like the trigger pull on it a lot. So Jen's looking into getting a competition gun and uh, she's been toying with the idea of getting the Canik TP9 SFX just because of the price point and uh, the features and then also just because I have one and I have done a lot of research on them and figured out a lot of the things that you could do to them, the aftermarket stuff and some of the customizations and that kind of stuff. So she's toying with the idea of getting one and uh, just the grip I have put the larger of the the back straps on um, and then I did the customization of the grip and so now we're not able to switch out this large back strap for the smaller back strap so that she can try that out with her hands she's got little baby hands so we just need to get hands on another Canik TP9 SFX with the smaller grip on it so that she can see if it's gonna work for her what do you think of those targets I love them uh, something I really struggle with target shooting is hitting and knowing I hit, but there being so many holes through them because we shoot so much when we're out here practicing. And with these, I can tell, I can hear it. It's instant feedback for me of like, boom, hit, hit, hit. And even with the what are, 10 inch circle, it's easy to tell of like, all right, low, high. It's easy, just instant feedback is the best part. Of like perfect I know I know my adjustment based on seeing it uh, versus when you have a huge three-foot target paper target you have no feedback of where you just shot awesome I'm pretty excited to have them as part of our family <laughs> all right let's go take a look at these things before we pack up here uh, I think we're getting pretty close to done for the day but yeah let's inspect them a little bit I'm not seeing any hitting on them at all they're still really really smooth no issues no issues you can see where some of the splash has come off and ripped up the 2x4 over here behind this a little bit um, and yeah I mean we've definitely shot this 2x4 you know it's mangled but ultimately like I don't see any reason why we wouldn't be able to use this board again yeah so you can see there's definitely some some spots where we've uh, we've blown through. Oh, look at that. Got a little piece of, little piece of a bullet. Um, so yeah, you can see some spots where we've blown through, especially right between the targets and just on the edges of them. I mean, this target comes down right here and blown through just on the edge here. Uh, just high on this one. Um, so yeah, but I don't see any reason why we wouldn't be able to use this 2x4 Again, ultimately the stand's holding up really well. I like these brackets, super easy to set up. Uh, I mean, I was just by myself setting all of these up before Jen got here and setting them up was quite simple. Um, I was actually surprised at how easy it was. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more difficult to do some of the setup just by myself, but ended up doing really, really well. Yeah. Didn't shift at all while we were shooting it, didn't move around. The 2x4 angled a little bit uh, from the weight of the plates on the front side, but yeah, but all it in makes all. The plate's perpendicular to the ground uh -huh. based on the way it shifted. It's, it's perfect. Uh -huh. I definitely think a future video is going to be uh, either making or buying the right bags to carry these things <laughs> because they weigh like. I don't know, I haven't weighed them, but I mean, they're at least 55 pounds. They're heavy uh, for all of the kit, you know? So being able to 
bag all of this stuff up. I don't know, I might do two bags so that I can distribute the weight kind of evenly. Also, uh, just so that you guys are aware, if you are contemplating buying these, uh, these plates or uh, the eight inch plates, that are also by SI Targets. Um, they make both the 10 inch and the 8 inch. Uh, look down in the, the description of this video and uh, if you're thinking about buying these then use the affiliate links that I have down in the description. Uh, that helps us support the channel a little bit. Then we can keep making videos like this for you. Thanks. What's that? That is one of our 9 mils. <laughs> totally flattened.